Well, he didn't want to make a big deal of it. He said he could try to pass them off as shellfish and sell them out of the back of his trunk. <laughs> but I thought it was a great story, and so did my boss. In fact, he's putting it on tonight's news. Rose, please tell me you're kidding. My boss said he wanted to expose Angelo's landlord for making him live under those terrible conditions. But Angelo wouldn't give us his name. Our Cecilia never squeals, never. <laughs> Did you offer him money? <laughs> no, never he wouldn't. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I mean, our research department will find that heartless Shylock. And if they don't, I will. I'm not going to rest, I'm not going to sleep, I'm not going to eat until I track that scum down. Rose, I'm the scum. <laughs> Stan and I inherited that building. I am Uncle Angelo's landlord. Oh, Dorothy, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I feel awful. Just awful. How could I have been so stupid? Oh, no, it's okay. I miss the family angle. <laughs> He's your uncle. Niece makes uncle live in Roach Motel. <laughs> Look, there's Angelo. Turn the sound up quick. As you can see, the bugs are really big, and when I spray them, they appear to be laughing at us. <laughs> The question all Miami is asking is, who would make people live under these conditions? We have learned this vermin-infested squalor is owned by baked potato opener king Stanley Spornak and his ex-wife, Dorothy Spornak. <laughs> Dorothy, that's your picture! Oh, no! Oh, look, they put those little wiggly antennas on our heads. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna face people? I told Stan I didn't want that building. I didn't care about it. I don't care about it now. He's supposed to take care of all the maintenance. You better get this straightened out, Rose. <laughs> 